Hello boys and girls and welcome to lesson two of our math this week. Now, you boys and girls have done such a good job on our patterns that you know all about attributes, cores, and pattern rules. Since you're getting so good at this, I thought I would start something new and give you a bit of a challenge. Now, I have some patterns up here and I want to look at our first pattern. And I want you guys to take a guess on what is changing in this pattern. Now, if I look at it, I wonder what attribute it is. I see that the pattern is made up of all trees. So the attribute is not shape or picture or object. They're all the same. I see that they're all the same size. It can be size. The trees are even all blue. So what is changing in this pattern? What do you think it is? Well, in this pattern, it is using numbers as our new attribute. So for our next few lessons, we are going to be learning about numbers in our patterns. So to look at our first one, I see that there are two trees, three trees, two trees, and three trees. Those numbers are being repeated. Two, three, two, three. So this pattern shows us that we can use numbers in our patterns. Now that we figured that out, I was hoping that you boys and girls could figure out what's underneath of this post-it in pattern number two. So I see that there are six dots, four dots, four dots, six dots, four dots, four dots. Let's say this together to help figure out what's going to be underneath of this one. So we have six, four, four, six, four, four, Underneath this one is six. Now I've made a number pattern with trees. I've made it with dots. And down here, I have a number pattern using popsicle sticks. They're all the same object. They're all the same color. What's changing is the number of them. So if I take a look, this pile has four popsicle sticks. This one has two, one popsicle stick, four, and two. I want to know what is hiding underneath of this paper. Let's say our number pattern out loud, and I bet you guys can figure out what's under here. Four, two, one. Four, two, what do you think it's going to be? It's one popsicle stick. Now, great job, boys and girls. You're going to have a chance to extend your very own number patterns. Inside of this assignment, click the link and it's going to take you to a Google form. On here, there's patterns made up of all different shapes, just like we have here. But what's changing about those is the number of them. Take a look to figure out what's going to be next in the pattern. Don't forget, it's not the shapes that are changing or the colors, it's the number. To modify this activity, feel free to make the pattern on a piece of paper and write the number below it. The patterns are represented with shapes, even though it's a number pattern. So we can help out our students by just like I did on the board, writing what the number is underneath and using that to figure out what comes next. Good job, boys and girls, and good luck.